Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there. Today, we've got to talk about a lot. There is a lot releasing at the end of January, and oh my god, there is so much releasing at the start of February. So today, we're going to be talking about a lot. And to kick it off, we've got to talk about <laughs> something that's coming out within the next 24 hours. In today's video, we've got to talk about the upcoming collaboration between Fragment Designs and OA. MC. Yes guys, so to end January off, we have a collection by the famous Japanese brand Fragment Designs, which we know and love the main designer behind that brand, Hiroshi Fujiwara, the godfather of Japanese fashion. He has inspired many, many iconic Japanese brands that we love and talk about on the channel all the time. They are collaborating with a brand that I don't come across too often and haven't dived into a lot, so excuse me if I don't know a lot of the details around it, it's something that's very new to me, which is OAMC. Now, why are Fragment Designs collaborating with OAMC? Well, from my knowledge, from what it looks like, OAMC seems to do collaborations with various brands in the streetwear atmosphere and they do these peacemaker collaborations. These peacemaker collaborations then obviously create a bunch of pieces and then sell them off to the you know consumer world. Some of the profits from this collection are then donated to charitable causes. Um, one of the collaborations that you may have seen recently with OAMC would be the Supreme collaboration. I think that was done in, I want to say, spring summer of 2019. If I remember correctly, they did a bunch of quilted jackets. Uh, some of the money from that collection was then donated to a charity that helps migrant families. Now, the collection that's going to be released very soon that's being done with Fragment Designs, some of the money from that is being donated to a charity that supplies fresh water to developing countries. A wonderful cause. So, today we're going to be talking about the Peacemaker collaboration, oh sorry, the Peacemaker collection between Fragment Designs and OAMC. So in order to do that, in order to cover all the pieces that are coming out in this collection, we've got, as always, a Hypebeast article that'll cover it and we can talk about it there. So without further ado, let's head on over to the Hypebeast article and have a look at what this Peacemaker collaboration collection has. And here we are guys. Now, just from a quick glance at the actual collection, I had a little bit of a little bit of a dabble into it before I read the article. Uh, it looks like this collection actually features quite a few pieces in it. Um, unlike the Supreme collaboration they did earlier on. Uh, that collection, I think only had a couple pieces. Maybe it was just even just the one quilted jacket. I honestly can't remember what was in it. Uh, this one seems to be a lot bigger, which you know, <laughs> I'm not complaining about it. I always love going over more pieces. So let's dive into the article and have a look what the collection has to offer. So Fragment Design and OAMC team up for a charitable, charitable army surplus inspired collection Ref uh, featuring reflective lightning bolts and bold peacemaker stamps. This is what I was talking about before. Peacemaker. Whenever they do these collections that donate to charitable causes, they always include Peacemaker usually in the garments itself. Uh, it was made very obvious in the Supreme piece because it was on the back. Hopefully it'll be done very similarly in this collection as well. So we have the lookbook here and what looks like, yep, pieces as well. Awesome, that's exactly what I want. I love looking at the lookbook and I love having a look at the individual pieces. That's exactly what I want. So let's dive into it. Ooh, some names, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> <laughs> sorry in advance if any of these people are watching and I butcher your name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, so Luke Mia and Arnold Fair imprint OAMC continues its charitable, charitable work with the release of a Fragment Design collaboration. The Fragment Design X OAMC 7 piece capsule collection is com uh, comprised of the label Signature Vintage Peacemaker uh, Liner, a vintage US military surplus M65 fill jacket. What a line that is. Imagine that. Someone's like, hey man, what piece are you wearing right now? I'm wearing the vintage US military surplus M65 fill jacket. <laughs> Such a long name. Such a long name. Versus me where I'm just like, I'm wearing a hoodie, bro. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Crew neck and hooded sweatshirts in Italian cotton fleece. Ooh, 
Ooh, bougie. That's bougie. <laughs> you can imagine the price on that as well. My God. Okay. Long sleeve and short sleeve t-shirts in premium Italian cotton. My God. Bougie, bougie, bougie. And a customized surplus Swiss army bottle. Because you can't, you can't finish your collection off without a Swiss army bottle, guys. You know, you need, you need that accessory. <laughs> okay. Together, OAMC and Hiroshi Fujiwara's cult leading label deliver a selection of dual branded garments that combine the Peacemaker stamp with Fragment Design's iconic Thunderbolt logo <laughs> in fluorescent and reflective makeovers, adorning the rear of each piece. Yeah, crazy. Okay. It looks like they've um, taken the same color palette they used for the antisocial social. social uh, anti-social social club collaboration which was the pink uh blue and yellow so i wonder if they're going to use the blue and yellow color themes as well in this one we'll have to see for its collaborative army bottle the duo sourced original pieces from a swiss army volcano stove set and laser engraved it with dual branding finishing the piece off with a cork cap a percentage of the proceeds of this collaboration will be donated to charity water a non-profit organization bringing clean and safe drinking water to people in developing countries. So there you go. The Supreme collaboration, as I talked about, I th I'm going to say from memory, it was like a year ago now. Uh, they did a, uh, they donated to one that um, helped uh, immigrant families into, you know, um, basically getting supplies for them to, you know, thrive in a new country, you know, like the U.S., all the other um, Western world countries like that. That charity helps out with that. This one helps out with water for uh, developing countries. So all good causes, all good causes. Take a look at the Fragment X OAMC capsule collection in the lookbook above and shop the limited edition pieces via OAMC's website when they drop on January 30th at 10 a.m. CEST. I have no idea what that time zone is. I honestly have no idea. Okay, well, let's have a look at the lookbook. I mean, these are some very cool images here. Hey, oh my god, yeah, that is a cork bottle. <laughs> I did, I, wow, that looks like a very sturdy drink bottle as well. So it's got OAMC on this side, and I assume on the other side it's going to have the lightning bolt uh, that makes, you know, fragment designs so iconic. Uh, wow, whoa. There we go. So we have Fragment and Peacemaker underneath. So they took the same approach that they did with the Anti-Social Social Club collaboration where they have a brand and then literally just grab the lightning bolt, uh, you know, Fragment Designs and just slap it on the back there. Okay, you do you, I suppose. <laughs> if that works out, do it. That's a cool crew neck sweater though. That's a cool crew neck sweater. Wow, that's a cool um, uh, jacket as well. So, uh, I mean, it looks like some cool pieces here. I'll be keen to um, scroll on down and see what we got. So, that looks to be it. That's a cool photo. That That's just a sick phone background right here. I'm telling you. Article down below if you guys want to save that as a phone background or something. <laughs> it's a cool idea. Okay. Let's have a look at the actual pieces. Open it up. Open it up, hype piece. Come on. Can I? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Ooh, <laughs> these images are actually kind of low res. Anyway. Anyway, let's have a look. So this is one of the jackets featuring the lightning bolt on there. OAMC down the bottom here. I like the amount of pockets on it. I'm actually like double breasted and down here as well. I hope. And if there was pockets on the inside as well. Ooh, tactical. Uh, I like the cut up here. It looks like a very nice piece. It just like the overall cut of the piece. This would be an awesome outwear piece. You could wear this over the top of a bunch of pieces or... You could make it the centerpiece, you know, you could just wear a basic tee and then have that over the top and button it up. It looks like a cool looking piece when it's buttoned up and done all the way up, but it could definitely work as a very cool outwear piece as well. Oof. Damn. Now, it looks like Peacemaker, potentially even Fragment down the bottom here, are done in 3M, but the Peacemaker definitely looks like it's done in 3M. Like, I mean, okay, down here, this is done in 3M and it's done in that, like, grey so i mean this peacemaker looks like it's done in that same kind of material as well so 3m when you shine a light on it it flashes um i don't know if the fragment bolt is as well but it very well could be it could be a pink 3m that would be pretty wild um but that's cool i was actually uh, when i saw the lookbook photos above i thought 
that the Peacemaker sign was underneath the Fragment Design uh, logo. Turns out it's the other way around. The Peacemaker is on top of the Fragment Design logo. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, it's a cool design. The use of pink, interesting. I, I honestly, if it was done in white, I think it would hit off a little bit better with me. But pink's a bold move. It could still work. It could still be a very cool piece. I, yeah, I, I would actually consider picking this up, but it's going to be mad expensive. <laughs> So maybe not, maybe not, but I can admire it. I can admire it and enjoy this. This is a very cool piece. Okay, let's move on to the second piece. Yo, this be wildin'. This be wildin'. Look at the um the pattern on the front here. There's like waves. These waves that come along here. That's kind of wild. That's kind of wild. Do we get it back? Yeah. Wow. Okay. This is crazy. This is absolutely wild. And it's got, it looks like it's embroidered in there, the um, Fragment Designs logo. Wow. And Peacemaker is obviously 3M as well. I'm not a huge fan of this piece. If, um, if I was given the option to buy it and I had to wear it, I wouldn't be hugely on this one. The color, I don't know, looks too swampy for me. It's a little bit too green. Maybe you'll disagree. Maybe this, you love this kind of green coloring and this is an awesome piece. Let me know if that's the case. But yeah, this one... Don't know. Not feeling that green as much. Don't know. It's it's like borderline army, but I don't know. It looks a little bit swampy, a little bit brown. Not for me. Not for me. Let's move on to the next one. This is clean though. I love that the OAMC is in a non-traditional spot for text on the garment. Usually everyone puts it up here on the left breast, but it's obscurely put down here on the ribs. Awesome idea. It's those subtle little details that makes me like become drawn to these kind of pieces. Let's look at the back. Very nice, very clean. You got Peacemaker on the back of it with uh, the Fragment Designs bolt underneath in pink. This is a cl clean little crew neck sweater here, man. I would consider going for something like this. I mean, I like that it's very simple on the front. It's a little bit louder on the back, but still very easy to wear. This is, yeah, this is a very, very clean piece. This is, this is more my thing. This is definitely more my thing. A hoodie, I assume it's gonna be the same case probably with a blue fragment bolt on the back. Come on, we gotta look at the track uh, track uh, history here. We got the pink one here. This is gonna have the blue one on the back. <laughs> we ready for the next image? It's gotta have it on the back, right? It, it does look like a very cool hoodie. Uh, the actual fit itself, I like that it is it's not overly thin at the top, but it also widens out at the bottom. I mean, a lot of people skip over this when they look at pieces, you know, they very much skip over the actual fit of the hoodie, how it's going to look. It's a, it's a talking point you've got to talk about. I like the overall fit of this. And hey, if I decided to go on a bit of a feeding spree and decide to gain a few kilos, that hoodie looks like it would accompany for that. <laughs> looks a little bit big down the bottom. Fit for those beer bellies, fellas. I'm telling you, it could work. It could work, man. The um, the pocket looks a little bit small, though. I don't know. Looks like a very small pocket. Not that I use the kangaroo pouches too often, but I don't know. It look, just looks a little bit obscure for me. Either way, I like the use of the drawstrings. They're very thin. They look... Um, they look like hiking shoelaces, in a way. You know, hiking shoes with their iconic laces. That kind of looks a bit like that. Anyway... I've analyzed the front of it enough. Let's have a look at the back. Ah, oh, I was proven wrong. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be the blue. I honestly thought it was gonna be the blue. That's okay though, that's okay. The pink's still clean. It's a little bit louder because it's a hot pink, but you can still very easily wear this. I gotta say though, I, again, I gotta compliment that fit. That fit looks really, really nice. I'd love to see it on person. Uh, maybe I skipped over it a bit too quickly in the lookbook. Maybe someone was wearing it, but the overall fit of it, Looks kind of nice. Oh my god, that this barely stands out from the background. Like, oh my god, <laughs> it's so white. Um, a white version of the uh, sweater that we saw before. O A M C on the front here and on the back. Okay, the blue co is complemented on the white. I gotta say, this is really nice. The second question I gotta ask though is, does it come in a hoodie? <laughs> Because, <laughs> I mean, this is really good. Don't get me wrong. This is a really, really cool piece here. But, give me a hoodie. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. I'm slightly disappointed by that. <laughs> I really wanted a hoodie version of this. Because this is sick. This is sick. I mean, give me this design and this on a hoodie with the same fit as the black one before. This one back here. 
Mmm. Get me on that. Get me on that. Hiroshi Fujiwara, hit me up. <laughs> like, this is crazy. This is crazy. Moving on to a short sleeve shirt. I like the overall fit of this shirt as well. It looks very long with very wide um, sleeves. I'm a big fan of wide sleeves. Not a lot of tees do that and they get kind of bunched up around the arms because you know, just so messy bro. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I, I kind of like it that it's gone a little bit wider. Works for me, works for the, you know, my aesthetic. I like it, I like it. What's it got on the back? Is it gonna be blue or is it gonna be pink? Drum roll please. Oh, come on, they didn't even show us. What? <laughs> well, I mean, okay. No? Okay. Well, fine. They're not going to show us. They're going to be like, you know what? You're getting the teaser of the front, but you're not getting the back. The back is not allowed. <laughs> I assume. I assume it's going to be pink on the back. I assume it's going to be the pink lightning bolt with Peacemaker on it. I assume that's the case. Because if we go over to the second image here, we don't get to see the front of the shirt but it's with the blue. So I assume everything that's black in this collection gets the pink lightning bolt. Everything that's blue in this, uh, sorry, white in this collection gets the blue lightning bolt. But I'm gonna say though, I would not have mind a white hoodie with that blue lightning bolt. I'm, I'm kind of caught up about that. I'm not gonna lie. But in saying that, the black one was a very cool hoodie piece as well. Hey, you buy that black hoodie. So we're, go we're gonna go back a little bit here. You buy this black hoodie, and then you also buy the outwear pieces, either this jacket here or this jacket here. Wear them both, wear the hoodie, then wear that, wear this over the top of it. Ooh, that's a fit. That's your upper sorted. That's all you need. It's the big talking point. Bam, that would look awesome. That would look awesome. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you just, you buy this and you buy the black hoodie to go along with it. And bam, you have yourself a fit that looks comfy. It looks like a sick aesthetic. I'm, I, the fit of the hoodie with that fit of that jacket. You know, you got the loose fitting hoodie, but then you got the fitted jacket with more of a fitted look. Bam, 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 bam. There is a look for you. I'm telling you, that would be sick. That would be a sick outfit. Hit me up. I want it. <laughs> okay. Then we got the drink bottle with the I with that with that cork top i tell you that's a crazy um thing to go with not a lot of brands would do cork tops these days they would probably just go with a metal cap um it's got o a m c on the bottom there and i assume on the back it's gonna have bam i called it when we were looking at the lookbook it has the lightning bolt you can never go wrong you can never go wrong with the lightning bolt so double branded very cool it's got some text down here that i can't read because the images are too low res but it's got something down there yeah, I mean, it's a cool little accessory to go with it. I imagine it would be quite expensive though, because I mean, I imagine this whole collection is going to be quite expensive, but the actual bottle itself is very, very cool. It is very, very cool. And I think that is it. That rounds it off, doesn't it? That rounds off the collection, guys. That's all we're getting. So we'll go back to the release details. When is it? Okay, there we go. It's dropping on the OAMC web store, January 30th. 10 a.m. CEST. So convert that to your time zone. The best place to do that, I always find, is Google to find out the drop time for you. Let me know in that comment section below. Let me know on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. What's your favorite piece from this little capsule here? Do you like the coats? Do you like the outwear here? Or are you more of a fan of these kind of pieces? The crew neck sweaters, the hoodies, or are you not a fan of all that and you just want some shirts? You know, you just want some some nice little shirts here or you're not even buying any of the clothing pieces and you just want that bottle <laughs> either way either way let me know how you feel about this collection which are your favorite pieces in the comment section below and that's it that's it guys that is the collection that is coming out on january 30 10 a.m cest time between fragment designs and oam C. How do you feel about it? What are your favorite pieces? Are you going to pick any of it up when it drops or is it just not for you? Are the bold colors of the Bolt logo on the back just a bit too much for you? You don't think you could rock it? Let me know how you feel as I said either on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram or if you want to make it nice and easy, the comment section below. Now this is the first time that we have talked about OAMC. Now if you want me to educate myself more go into more collections done by them, more collaborations, 
Let me know in the comment section below or like the video today to give me a good sign that you guys want to see more of them. I'll definitely be willing to cover more of them and educate myself on the brand. This isn't the first time I've heard of the brand, but I've never actually dived into them and had a look what they're all about, what their influences are, stuff like that. So if you want me to do more of that in the future, just let me know. And if I incorrectly pronounced any names, said anything, let me know in the comment section below. Because as I said, this is the first ever video that we've covered them before. So until the next streetwear video, guys, until the next sneaker video, until the next Fagnant Designs video, I'll catch you later.